let's look at the park practice test that we have been pro provided. We can always switch back and forth between math and English. Right now, we're going to look at third grade math. So let's click on grade three. And underneath performance-based assessment practice test, let's click on computer-based practice test. It will bring you to a screen where you can just start the test now. This is one section with 17 questions. You will read these directions where you will not be using your calculator today. The first question is a simple multiple choice question and as we see that there are circles here, we realize that it is multiple choice and we can only select one answer. As I go around with my mouse, I can only select one answer and it changes on and off. If I'm confused, we, uh, we can use the answer eliminator to block off a couple. So Gina's bedroom floor is in the shape of a rectangle. It is 10 feet long and 9 feet wide. What is the area of Gina's bedroom? Well, I know for sure I'm not adding, so I'm going to cross out 19 square feet. So that narrows it down to three answers for me. And I'm not sure if we multiply, so it's 90 square feet. Now, as I start to look at the question, I'm thinking we do multiply 9 times 10. So what Park has done is we can easily take the X off that we already put on by just clicking on the answer again and it disappears. For us to select 90 square feet, we will click on the pointer up top and then click on 90 square feet. All right, let's go to the next question. Now with the next question, it lets us know right in the directions, select the three correct answers, which equations are true. Now. Our little tip here is see how they're square boxes? They'll pop up with check marks. We can click as many boxes as we want. However, our direction state select the three correct answers. 7 divided by 7 is 0. Nope. Um, let's go with this one, that one, and over here as well. And if I want to come back to this question for later, let me just flag it for review. And since it's now highlighted flag, it will let me know later that I want to come back to this question. On question number three, it gives me some information. And then over here on part A, it tells me enter your answer in the box. So I can simply write in my answer. What is the total number of pictures taken by the rest of the third grade? So 1,000 minus 72 minus 48. Let's do that quick math very quickly. My answer will be 880 and then I would answer over here and click in the box and answer my question. Once again we have the squares and select three correct answers. So I can click wherever, select three, and once again, I'm not sure if these are the right answers as I just want to show you the technology section of the third grade math practice test. On this one here, where would a point be plotted to show five thirds on the number line? All we're going to do is see how we get the hand. We can then plot where five thirds could be. And we can play around with it. Next, right here, it's a little different. So it gives us a statement, Cindy is finding the quotient for 27 divided by 9. She says, the answer is 18 because the addition is the opposite of the division and 9 plus 18 equals 27. Right here in the box for part A, identify the incorrect reasoning in Cindy's statement. Enter your explanation in the space provided. Over on question number 7, we are going to answer our, explain our answer again and talk about our explanation. So give the value of the number P as a fraction. So 
we can even just write something as p equals n, we'll say p equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to put in the fraction. And this allows us to write 5 up top, click down on the bottom, write 6. What does the denominator of our fraction represent on the number line? So then we will write the denominator broad we'll write our answer and then the numerator represents so many and we'll explain our answers just like that as we go to the next one Tori and Lito set up their clubhouse with four tables these rectangles represent the tabletops so once again we're going to explain our answer by typing and also using the different math symbols right here Fractions will be the one that we'll be using the most in our um, third grade. And we also have part B where we have to read through it and explain our answer down below. So Adam needs to put 19 pictures from classroom A and 23 pictures from classroom B on a bulletin board. He wants to display the picture in an array. Select the box for each picture to create an array to represent the pictures on the bulletin board. So all you have to do is we can just select our pictures wherever you want to put them. If you want to deselect one, just simply click on it again, it will we'll deselect that box. Part B, we do a little more explaining. And we'll see some of the questions all over again. So different types of questions enter our answers in the box. Right here we have a drop down menu. So question 11, it asks us a question and we do an equation to figure out how to get the certain answer. And all we're doing is the drop down menu. Right here, as we previously stated, the circles means multiple choice. I can only select one answer. We can practice with the answer eliminator if we'd like. Right here, we're going to select the best arrow that shows. And we can easily go around, click on and off. Only one answer is possible. Which rectangle has an area of squared units? Circles. So what does that mean? Yes, it means that we can only select one answer. We're going to explain our answer here, followed by here. And on this one, we have C, part C. So we have three different parts. Explaining our answer, typing in an answer in the box, and explaining another one. So three part question for number 15. Circles mean multiple choice and we explain it. And finally we have an exclamation down here. And what do the squares mean? Yes, always read the directions, select the two correct statements but the squares hint us that we can select multiple answers. If I click next, it'll let me know that I'm finished with the test. Please always remember to review your answers. And it will tell me which ones I have answered, which ones I didn't answer. And for ones that I had difficulty with that are flagged, I can simply always go back to view. 
and go right back to the question. Now instead of going all the way through the test, I can simply hit review and just hit end section. Submit final answers since I reviewed all my answers and we have completed the math section of the test.